Mike, the Cowboys and Packers are two of the most iconic franchises in NFL history. You're the only man to coach both. And you talked about walking past the statues of Curly Lambeau and Vince Lombardi, and now you're going to coach in a building with a statue of Tom Landry outside. What kind of pressure comes with that? Well, I think it just states the obvious. You know, this, the, the history and tradition is, is very important to both franchises, and, and I think it's, it's something you, you have to feel the responsibility of it. And, you know, you're the steward of this iconic franchise. And, and with that, uh, it's just more of a focus and, and make sure that the organization is always represented the right way. During the year that you were fired and not coaching the Packers, you stayed in Green Bay and you watched them acquire free agents who made a big difference and they went 13 and three in your year away. How hard was that for you, given the circumstances? I, I think it's really the reality of, you know, being in touch with where the team was at that point and, you know, those decisions to, to bring in free agents, you know, it, it just didn't happen that day. I mean, those are talks that uh, went on for quite some time. So, I mean, I, I think you just have to give them a lot of credit for they made the moves that they needed to do, you know, needed to make, and, and it's paid off for them. 32 coaches have won Super Bowls. None has won a Super Bowl with two different teams. What makes you think that this can happen here for you? Well, I think the, the pieces are, are in place and, and more, you know, how you bring them together and, and how you're able to, to keep the consistency of, of winning, you know, consistently to put yourself in position and make sure your team's ready for that playoff run. So uh, there's so much that goes into winning a Super Bowl, and, and that's really where my time and energy is, is placed. It's just staying on top of all the components and really bringing everybody together to make sure we stay on, stay on the course. The Cowboys hired you because you're an experienced coach. You've a proven winner. Uh, they think they have a team that can go deep in the playoffs. What are your expectations? I mean, really, my expectations are to make sure we stay focused on building the best 90-man roster we possibly can, to make sure you know our training camp and you know the off-season program are as competitive as possible, and and then we're sitting here, uh, you know, at the end at the end making a bunch of hard decisions for the 53 and the 63. That's really my expectations because there's a process that is that we have to build to get to that point and and then with that obviously you start playing the real game so I, I, I get the rhetoric I think it's a, I, I understand it I've fortunately been part of it for a long time and but I've always I think it's important to keep the time and energy and focus on the process. In Green Bay there was no single owner the president the general manager were pretty reclusive publicly and so you were the dominant voice in the organization here we're kind of at the other end of the spectrum jerry's a big presence how different do you think that'll be for you i mean just you know it's it's only been a couple of days frankly i love it it's a, it's a breath of fresh air and uh just really you know jerry and his whole family uh just the energy uh that they bring to the to the workplace every day has been awesome Steven said uh, he, he anticipates you having as much influence in personnel as Bill Parcells had. Jerry talked at the press conference about we decisions. Is that reassuring to you? Oh, absolutely. And I, I think it was, you know, it was definitely part of the, the interview process. And uh, just, just in a little time I've been here, I, I mean, I, I've had, oh, shoot, six, seven, eight conversations a day with, Mil, with Will and, and, you know, and Todd has also been part of that and, and Steven. So it's... Uh, Personnel is an everyday, everyday thing. So I mean, you have to approach it that way. It's, it goes on, you know, 24/7, 12 months at a time. So, that's the focus, and and, and I'm enjoying that part of it. Um, most of the players here have only played in one system on offense. How big a transition is it going to be for them? That's a great question. I, I think that's really what the interview process will bring light to, and you know, as as we go through the interviews and the direction moving forward, because I, I do want to try to build off all the positive things that are already in place here. So I, I, I don't want to throw out the baby with the bathwater. Uh, I'm not going to take that approach. I don't, I don't think that's the right, right approach. So I do want to make sure, if we can, take advantage of what's in place and build off that. You coached Joe Montana, or maybe he coached you Technically, early in your career? Yeah, Joe coached me. I was a quality control coach. <laughs> Joe I, coached you? I, I, yeah, I love the credit, but it's, it's not real. Yeah, I, All right, you work with Joe Montana, work. Brett Favre, and Aaron yeah. Rodgers. What from those experiences do you, do you bring to benefit Dak Prescott? Well, it, it, just, it just shows you, you know, three different body types. You know, Aaron and Brett are very similar, and, and, and really some of the things they've done from a from fundamental standpoint that maybe we can tweak and apply to, to his game. But I, I think the mental approach, uh, from what I'm told, you know, Dak is, is right there. So uh, I'm really looking forward to working with him. Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. 
And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. We'll see you there.